three bills. Maybe Thomas could give it away next week, but Brentwood Bowl is where we're at this week. And the action, incredible. Starting off 250 to 260, Jim Becker winning the first game. will start this game number two on the left lane. Uh, that was exciting. <laughs> he just made it back. No huh? kidding. Go. 300 bucks next week. Beckler, uh, just like last game. That's right. Starting uh, starting with a nine-pin count, going a little high, but uh, sure didn't bother him slowing down too much last game, finishing with 268. And he will pick up the spare. So Beckler starts out, as I mentioned, just like the last game, and I'm sure he would like to chalk up another 268. Well, it may not be enough. You never know against Cisco. He's happy, though. I'll tell you what, even if you lose with 260, you can hold your head up high for a long time. Bill Pollard, we had a Bill on last week with a lot of experience throwing from the left-hand side. Bill Heflin, this is Bill Pollard. Again, been on the show too many times to mention. He well, comes from a, a hellaciously strong bowling team. I'll tell you what, if it's one family you never want to challenge to a match game, it's his family. I know I've had my share of run-ins with Regina, boy. She's tough. Well, family's tough as a $2 stick. Matter of fact, recently, every one of the Pollards has acquired a 300 game. How about that? Three well, boys, that one girl, something. the mom, or not the mother, but the father does. Five of them in that family. Four of them, rather. Mm. That's right. But And mom, I'll tell you what. To put up with this family, you deserve a, an award ring. So doggone it, hit one of them up. they got a lot of jewelry laying around the house. You ought to have one of them. Tough as a two-dollar steak. Yeah. You had a lot of those? Uh, unfortunately, that's it. Look at this. Oh, down Look it goes. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. He'll take it. He better be happy with that. So let's watch it on the replay. We're going to see a completely errant shot going straight through the head pin, but it's going to break it up. Not only break it up, but carry it. Uh, that's a head pin going straight back. That's a two-pin to the wall. And that's a five-pin taking out the six and the ten. Jim Beckler's anxious. He jumped up there and just said, hey, give me the not wasting any time. No way. Well, when you got the hot hand like he does. Don't want to let it cool heck off. no. Jennifer knows all about that. Absolutely. And once again, comes back to pick up the spare. He is spared in the first two frames. We got a pretty good crowd here today. What? Uh, let's see. Let's look around. Who we got back there, Jen? Oh, boy, we got lots of representatives from Hudipal again. Tony Plankton, we have Lee Ritter, who's a salesman of Hudipal, Francie Patton. Remember, in the 10th frame, I said the big five, the church, as we call it. This church, nobody wants to enter. <laughs> this, no. This is the 4, 7, 8, 6, 10, and that's how you try to make it. Look at that! Oh! oh. In Incredible. What a way to... Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this on the replay if we can. He is going to just miss bringing this back. A once-in-a-lifetime shot. Now watch, that's a four-pin. That's a four-pin. Oh, a little moonwalk across the lane. It's going to tip into the six, and then it's going to take out the ten. He forgot one. Incredible shot, though. That was fantastic. No kidding. Dave, I watched you almost make that yesterday. You yeah. gave it a good shot there. Yeah, I used a little different technique, though. I threw it about Mach 3. <laughs> you know, I was out at the uh, Bowl for Kids' Sake at the Super Bowl yesterday in, uh, in Erlanger, and a funny story. A gentleman was telling me about Newrath and bowling. That's why I'm real anxious sometimes to see him uh, on our show, show this year. The story was his time. It says Dave gets a little bent out of shape sometimes. Oh, no, no, no. This must be someone who doesn't know me very well. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Dave is such a mild-mannered kind of guy. I, when he told here. me the story, I thought he was talking about somebody else. Hmm. I thought, how could that be? Well, when I was younger, um, I did have a little bit of a, um, an aggressive nature. Is, is that, Jen? Is that I, okay? I would say that's that pretty way? accurate. Okay. You right. want to win, and when you're bowling bad, it's depressing, and you're, you're demoralized. And... It, uh, it's a great game. Bowling is probably the most fantastic game in the world for a couple of reasons. You can do it for as long as you want. On the replay, <laughs> Bill Pollard's been doing it as long as he wants, and this is the way he wants to do it. Head pin, center your screen to the wall. Comes off, boom, there you go. Get out of there, five pin. Bill's gotten a lot of help. A lot of help on a couple of the shots so far. Now, Beckler says it's about time. At this point in the last match, he had knocked down three consecutive strikes. 
but uh, not as well this game. But nevertheless, he's in this match. Well, a factor to, a factor to consider here, Tom. In the last game, we had a right-hander against a left-hander. The shot consistency may, I want to reiterate, may have something to do with the fact that Jim is now having to make some changes on the approach to play the lanes a little differently. And uh, we will watch some of these changes as we come back after this word. We're in the middle of a good one. Jennifer, a uh, new member of our crew today. Yeah, he's hiding it. Hey, Tom, peek around that corner. That's Tom Slaughter right there. New cameraman for us. Tom's got a birthday coming up in just a couple of weeks. Make sure to pass that along when the time comes, and the time is coming for Bill Pollard right now. Working on a double. Bill Pollard has a 17-10 advantage. A, do a double working for both players in the fourth and fifth frames. Uh, a lot of paper left. Bill Pollard, uh, incidentally, is a member of the Greater Cincinnati Bowling Hall of Fame. Very, very prestigious. How many members are roughly in that? Any idea? Uh, more than they need for a good card game. I uh, <laughs> have no idea. It's not many, though. It's very tough to get into that. It goes back, uh, oh, I think back to, the, to the, uh, either the early 50s or late 40s, they've been inducting people, Tommy. And it not only encompasses good bowlers, but people that have made some sort of contribution to the game in the form of uh, uh, all sports events, you know. And when I put your name on that list in three or four years, right. uh, you know, organizations, uh, leaders, and, you know, of course, the better bowlers in town, too. There's one of them. Indeed, 56-year-old Bill Pollard. He is a bowling proprietor. He is obviously given the game and given to the game and taken some from it. He's from Versailles, Indiana. But the Hoosier has got a big load ahead of him right here. Well, once this man starts striking, we've, uh, we've been privileged to see what kind of strings he can put together. And uh, Bill is uh, Bill's about uh, nine pins in the uh, lead right now, but uh, one more strike and he's two pins down. Jim has knocked down three strikes in a row. You mentioned once he cranks it up, look out. He spared the first frame in the last game and then knocked off five consecutive strikes. And there is the triple. Well, there you have it. It's 103 to 108 in the fifth. That's five-pin difference. And on the replay, we're going to see how he now takes the lead. Perfect shot. One, two pockets. Completely annihilated. Ten pins in the pit. Every pin doing its job, Tommy. He's now leading in the match. And he comes right back to answer. The seasoned veteran, if you will. Not rattled by it at all. We are qualifying today out at Fairfield Lanes, home of Bud Boskin and Kenny's Place, as they refer to it. Did you stop in there today? Yesterday? Kenny's, 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 Kenny's place. place. Yeah, I think I'll stop in there and quaff a few hooties. Quaff? Sure, that's a, that's a quaff. Word. Quaff? Oh, even if it isn't, I'll quaff them anyway. Because <laughs> they taste so good. Especially well, when you're bowling. Bill is quaffing down the pins, if you would, <laughs> right now. He knew he had a little pressure on him as you look at the score. Well, there you see it. It's a five-pin match. It's a five-pin match. Jim Beckler is in the lead right now with a double working. He has an opportunity to take it out and win the match. If he misses, Bill Pollard can come in and get him. Unbelievable. What a great, great shot. Solid. Eight pin, the right hand is solid nine. Let's take a look at it on the replay. The ball is just going to drive too hard. Remember, the ball is supposed to take this pin out, but watch it jump to the right of the pin. Tough break, crucial situation. Jim Beckler has now given Bill Pollard an opportunity to win. They're holding bowling for kids' sake uh, today, which is for Big Brothers and Big Sisters organization, and Boomer Esiason will be here from the Bengals from 12 to 5 today bowling. He's going to be here? He's going to be here. Come on out to Brentwood Bowl and bowl for kids' sake. I hope. Did, did somebody explain to Boomer that he's supposed to keep this ball on the ground? But he knows that. Did he? I would think he does. Because, boy, if he lets one fly the other way, this place is in a lot of trouble. Look out, that big southpaw. Here's another big southpaw right here who's letting them fly. That's right, and Jim Beckler just 
another bad break, back to back, eighth and ninth frame, could have been a 7-10 swisher, could have been a strike, as it was, it was a 10-pin and a spare, Bill Pollard can now triple to win the game. Bill Pollard, and you see Jim Beckler. His fate lies on this roll, looking for the strike. Oh, and he grabs it. <laughs> oh, do we have a match? You bet we do. Bill Pollard on the replay. We're going to see the soft seven. The soft seven is going to get out of there. The second one from the left-hand side of your screen is the four pin. Now watch it. Ooh. There you go. Get lost, seven pin. You're out of here. And one more strike. Puts Bill Pollard in the driver's seat. Looking good. <laughs> now, that looked to me as if he made a bit of a mistake there. But nevertheless, you see the small, he got away with another one. A bit of a mistake. The only thing that was right with that, it was in the right bowling establishment. Uh, it's nice to throw one that bad and get away with it. And... Uh, Bill has been throwing the ball very well. He gets a break on that one, and that basically is going to sing the swan song for Jim Beckman. Jennifer, are you singing? No, I'm still not <laughs> grabbing that one. Sorry, I heard Dave before. It didn't sound too bad. Come on, Dave. Which one? Oh, Hammer? Yeah, yeah understand, you know. folks. Jennifer's headphones weren't working that week. Okay. Right. She didn't actually hear it. Some mornings I'm better than others. You ought to hear me in the Shire time. On second thought. Oh, uh, yeah. Back on to the second match. thought. <laughs> Jim Beckler goes down to uh, defeat Bill Pollard, but I'll tell you what, 268 is first game. If he takes it out here in the 10th frame, he could finish with 221, but as it is, it's going to be tough to beat 248. Look at the smile on his face. Boy, we've had some big numbers already today in the first two games. Beckler, who you're watching right now, rolled a 268 in the first game, and uh, Bill comes right back in this one with an impressive 248. He knocked down last six balls in a row for strikes. I tell you, it's it's tough, tough out there. You shoot 268, but what can you do for me today? The old saying. Exactly. The old he strikes. Saying. He finishes with 210, Tommy. 209. More or less indicative of the way this one went for him. So Bill Pollard will move on to face our King Riga Kalpas. We'll be back with it in just a moment.